Hello everybody, Pipe Man 1861 here. I got off work early today, so figured I'd come out in the back porch. It's a beautiful day, 70 degrees. It was much sunnier earlier. Clouds are kind of moving in. We're supposed to get some storms tomorrow, but beautiful evening, so I had to sit out on the back porch. Birds are flying around. It's really nice. Tonight I'm smoking uh, for the first time a brand new pipe and a brand new blend I've never tried. Uh, when I went to Strauss a few days ago, the Cincinnati location, to uh, make that video, and I did, I wanted to buy a pipe in there to uh, kind of remember it the shop by, just in case it didn't come back. So and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. They, don't, they didn't have a lot of really expensive pipes in there, but I uh, didn't want to spend a ton of money. So they had uh, kind of a few Missouri Meerschaum cobs, but I have, a, I have a bunch of those. But they had this little Missouri Meerschaum poker. It's a maple hardwood poker with a really pretty red acrylic stem. It's one of their little bit more uh, premium pipes. Isn't that cute? So I bought that. And they, uh, if you buy a pipe from them, you get a free ounce of tobacco. I know a lot of shops do that, so I thought, well, I'd tried private, the, the Strauss Private Stock Original, which is kind of a medium-bodied English blend. So I said, well, I'd like to try your uh, Private Stock Aromatic. And the fellow behind the counter said, well, I just want to warn you, Private Stock Aromatic is not an aromatic tobacco. I said, really? He said, yeah. It's a, a very, very heavy English blend, and they called it aromatic back in the 30s because it had more aroma to it. <laughs> he said, he said uh, yeah, there's been guys who smoked it in their smoking lounge, cleared a lot of the cigar smokers out, which says something about it. It's pretty good, though. My wife's out of town, so. <laughs> has a really good flavor to it. I just watched Paladin Piper's video, a shout out video. I want to tell him personally thank you for the shout out. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate him mentioning about Strauss on that video because I feel like we should get the word out about it. Well, he said on that video that he was concerned about maybe it not coming back because you never know whenever leases expire and owners change, sometimes things fall through the cracks a little. I'm kind of worried about that myself. As long as it's around in some capacity with the original blends and all that, I'm perfectly happy. You know, as long as the Florence location stays in business, which is according to the owner, as he told me personally, it would. But it's still troubling because that place has been open since 1880. They uh, op put the, they opened in that location in 1905, and they've been open there ever since, in the downtown Cincinnati, the one that's being closed up. So that's a shame. But hopefully the new owners will in fact manage to bring it back, and hopefully they won't make many changes. I don't know if any of the same blends are going to carry over. I'm not sure if they also gave them the recipes. It may just be a cigar place. I'm not really sure. But the same blends, of course, will continue in Florence. So, the uh, original owner, I believe, just gave him the right to use the name. But don't take my word for it, time will tell. Well, hmm, another thing I wanted to show you. New pipe, new tobacco blend, and a new pipe tool, too. I got on eBay, which is usually a mistake. 
I'm sure a lot of you have seen these. It's one of the old yellow bowls, yellow bowl pipe tools that they sold probably back in the 70s, 60s and 70s. It was on eBay for $5 with free shipping. And me, being the cheapskate that I am, had to see if I could get a little bit cheaper. So I messaged the seller and I asked him, hey, listen, would you, uh, well, I didn't message him, I'm sorry. They had the best offer option on there. And I asked him, would you um, do $2.75? And they said yes. <laughs> So this thing was $2.94 with sales tax shipped and everything. There's a little bit of rust on the inside. I have to clean off with some steel wool, but by and large, I mean, you can't get a check tool for that anymore, basically. So Nice, solidly built pipe tool. It has a tobacco spoon in it. The neat thing about it is it's kind of in this little box case, kind of like a pocket knife, you know. So you got your your tamper, your pick, and your little tobacco spoon with a scraper. Pretty nice. Holds up to a nice oof. wind change. <laughs> but I was happy about that. But now, Mr. Paladin brought up a good point. We really need to take care of the brick and mortars that we have left because the rules and regulations being in place as they are, it has made it very, very difficult, if not next to impossible, to start a new tobacco shop, at least, you know, pipe and, fine pipes and cigars, particularly pipes, because they're harder to make and pay. So, we got to take care of what we have because we're probably not going to get any more. I'm sure we can order online, but there's something very special in my experience about going into a tobacconist and looking at the, the blends and being able to smell them, the bulk blends, you know, you don't want to open up tins, you know, <laughs> they don't appreciate that. But going in there, opening up the jars, smelling the blends, picking out a couple ounces of something. Going back into the smoking lounge and smoking a couple of bowls full of it. It's a really, it's a, it's a very cathartic experience. Can't really describe it very well. All I can say is that it's a very, very it's a very kind of a warm, cozy, feel-good experience that you don't really, you do not get ordering something online and having a chip to you. So, take care of your tobacconists, folks, because you're not going to get any more of them. So. No matter where you are, whether it be the Country Squire down in Mississippi, Nell J. Peretti in Boston, Ewan Rees in Chicago, Strauss in, in Florence now. And of all of these places, Paul's Pipe Shop, I haven't heard much news, but he's thinking he might need to, he's going to have to see about closing too. Pipe, Paul's Pipe Shop in Flint, Michigan. Um, he's looking into closing. He was actually looking into closing in December. I haven't looked up. He may have closed. There's just not, uh, there are a lot of construction around his building. Uh, lease problem there too, so uh, he's going to, probably not going to last out the year, he doesn't figure. So, uh, we got to take care of what we have because we're probably not going to get any more of it. So, go to your local tobacconist. I know it may be a little more expensive. Um, you don't have to buy a tin of tobacco. Just go in there and buy some of their house blends. That's what I do. Go in there. Try some stuff. You'll be glad you did, I guarantee you. 
Well, this is that's about enough for tonight, I guess. This is Pipe Man 1861 saying goodbye, good luck, may the good Lord take a liking to you, and I'll see you all again real soon. Happy smoking, folks.